Hi, so far I've built a couple of applications using Electron on this channel, but there is one more technology that I think worth mentioning because it generates a crazy small bundle size and it's super easy to work with and it is Tauri. Tauri runs on Rust, so before you jump into this project, make sure you have Rust installed on your system. I will leave a link in the description to the install instructions. Once you have Rust installed, the easiest way to get a Weed project up and running is to scaffold one using Weed's CLI tool. To use this, type in your terminal npm create Weed at latest, then give your project a name. Mine will be my first Tauri app. Then use dash dash space dash dash template to specify a template that's going to be used to create this application. We will need React and TypeScript. There is a template for that. It's called react-ts. Hit enter and the CLI tool will scaffold this project. You already have a couple of instructions here, so let's just follow these and make sure that the application runs. So cd into the projects folder run npm install and finally run npm run dev and after this the application should be up and running on this port so i will hit reload and you can see the default counter app that comes with this template you can stop the app we won't change anything on the react side of the things but as the next step we will initialize a tower project inside this existing weed project. So to do this, type npm install at tauri dash app slash CLI. So this is going to install Tauri's CLI tool that will help us to initialize this new Tauri project. So I made a mistake here. It's not app, but apps. After this is installed, you can use the Tauri CLI command with mpx, so type mpx Tauri in it. The CLI tool will detect the application's name from the package.json file. So it is my first Tauri app. Hit enter. We are going to leave the default values here for pretty much everything, including this, even if this is not the URL for our Weed app but we will change that later in the configuration file. So just leave it as is and hit enter. So once this is done, we have to modify some of the Tauri configuration files. And here's a little trick I use when I create new projects from the VS Code terminal. I just type code dot and dash R. And after I hit enter, this is going to reinitialize the VS Code using the current folder. I guess that's just a really easy way to jump into folders and open them in VS Code. So the first thing, if you remember, we left the tower configuration to point to localhost 3000 as the development server's URL. We are not going to change that, but we will update Weeds config to actually start the app always on port 3000. So to do that, open weed.config.ts and then add here server and inside the brackets just type port 3000. Hit save and now if you run npm run dev your weed app should be running on localhost 3000 instead of this 5173 that's just seemingly a random port. So change this to 3000 and the app is here, the counter works, everything is great. You can stop the application and now we will go over to the tower settings and change a few things there. So the tower config file is in source tower, tower config.json. Let me close this terminal so we have a bit more space here. So the first thing we will update is this there. Weed places the bundles inside dist and not inside build. 
So this is the first change. And the second change is the default bundle identifier. When you try to bundle the Tauri app using the default bundle identifier, it always complains. So let's just go ahead and change the default com.tauri.dev to com.example.tauri. After these changes, open up your terminal again and run npm run build. And after this is successful, you can attempt to run the Tauri development version of the application with mpx Tauri dev. Okay, so the application started up. I will move it to my primary screen. So what we have now is a desktop application running our React frontend that we scaffolded with Vite. We can close this like we would normally close any desktop application. And finally, we will package this Tauri application using MPX Tauri build. So the packaging is complete and you have the bundle in source Tauri target release. So after I open this target folder in Finder, this is how it looks like. And inside target release bundle DMG, I have the bundle that's native to my operating system. I can double click it and it brings up the installer that I'm familiar with. You can start the application from here by double clicking it. This is our app or you can install it by dragging it to the applications folder like you would do it with any other Mac application. And this is how you can create a desktop application using modern front-end technologies with the help of the Tower framework. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.